Okay, this is the next segment which I'd like to cover. Um, this segment is on trading the gaps in the forex markets using the Tiger Timelines presented by myself, Dr. Kashif Aziz, on behalf of Forex Traders Corporation Limited. Now, before we come on to how to actually trade the gaps and how you can use the Tiger Timeline to do so, uh, we need to cover exactly what is a gap and how you define it and when it occurs. Now, a gap occurs in the market when the market has been closed for a period of time. Depending on the kind of market we're exploring, be it a stock market, be it the stock market, indices, commodities, and forex, the gaps will occur with different frequencies and at uh, different time periods. For example, if you look at the stock market, be it in the Dow, be it on the Dow Jones or the FTSE, the share price is open in the morning, the, the share price closes in the evening, and it opens up the following morning. In the intervening period between the share price being closed, if some major news comes out perhaps, or there's some further institutional buying, then you may find that the stock market, when it opens up the following morning, morning that particular share's price will be increased in value or even decreased in value. So when a stock market or commodities and indices, um, which tend to close down, the gap sometimes can occur on a daily basis, but less frequent. The forex market is very different. The forex market is a, a lot more volatile, but B, as you know, the Forex market is a global market. Therefore, during Monday to Friday, the Forex market is not closed. When London market comes to an end, New York takes over. When New York goes to sleep, Japan and Australia take over and Asian market started. Therefore, the Forex market does not close during the week, but it does close during the weekend. Friday evening, uh, approximately 8 o'clock in the evening, UK time is when the New York market closes and then the market remains closed until Monday morning Asian session which is approximately 9 p.m. UK time. During the 48 hours the market is closed and therefore there is a potential for a gap to develop for stop. Especially in the current climate when there is significant uncertainty in, in the financial market so often news comes out and you may find that when the market opens up on Monday a particular currency pair will be up or down, gap up and down depending on what, what the price session has been prior in the, over the weekend. Let's use a, let's use a proper example. Let's say the euro closed at 115.50 on Friday evening. This is the closing price and this is where the market stands from. Subsequently, the euro yen opened up on Monday morning at 116, which is 50 points higher than when it closed. Therefore, this represents a 50-point gap. And this is actually, the, the market has been known to have gapped up. So therefore, gaps can appear when the market reopens and the price on a particular currency pair opens significantly higher or lower than the closing price on Friday. The way how we profit from this is by, it's by fading the gap or trading in the opposite way to the gap. So an example I've given you, the euro yen, the euro yen open gapped up 50 points and opened up 116. Therefore, we look to go short the euro yen, hoping that it will retrace and fill the gap. Now, there's a degree of certainty in the fact that the gap will get filled. How far it goes and whether the back, the gap gets completely filled is difficult to tell, but there's potential to be made and there's profit to be made. So that's what gap trading is about. Trading in the opposite direction to the gap, hoping that it will be partially filled and hoping to make a profit this way. Now, gap trading has been around for ages, be it in the stock market, indices, commodities or forex. However, the problem always has been with gaps is where to get in your position. You do not want to get in arbitrarily against a trend without having solid reasons for do so. Now, in the past, what people would do would be to analyze charts over the weekend, look at support resistance across time frames, and come up with a level where, where they can potentially go short or long, depending on the gap is. What has changed is what we do with the Tiger Time Lens, which enables us to identify support resistance against multiple time frames at a glance and make profit very, very easily. Now, what is the criteria for a valid gap trade? Let's go through that. Firstly, and the most in single most important criteria is having a minimum 25 point gap from the close price on Friday to the opening price on Monday. 
Why do we need that gap? It's because we need room to breathe with the trade and we need pr profit potential as well in the trade. Gaps will get filled to some extent. However, the, com the however they may not get completely filled and this is where the profit, this is where you need to have a decent gap so that you can make profit even if the market only partially retraces. In our experience, and we have outstanding frequent trading record, gaps get filled 50% of the time almost always. So therefore, if you have a decent price gap, then there's potential for, for profit. The second and most important criteria is timeline and when you take the trade. Now the forex market is unique because we're looking to take it in a short period of time on a Sunday evening, 9 o'clock UK time or approximately 4, 4 p.m. New York time when the market has opened up. We have an hour to hour and a half to get into the gap trade and then look to take profit that way. If it takes longer than that to get in, then it, there could be a chance that the market will continue moving in the direction of the gap and therefore we do not want to take in a trade. The third and obviously the most important thing is already mentioned, you have to take the trade in the opposite direction to the gap. If for example Euro dollar closes at 1.4050 on Friday evening, it opens up at 1.410, there's a 40 point gap downwards, we'll be looking to go long around 5 to 10. The most single most important thing is your entry. Now as I mentioned right at the beginning, in the past, people would do analysis over the weekend, look at support resistance and try to come up with a level. What the Tiger timelines do is they show support resistance across multiple time frames at a glance. So just by looking at the grids which we have, the timeline grids which we have, you will be able to identify specific levels of support resistance. So when the market gets to those levels, there's a much higher chance of the market bouncing out those levels and starting to retrace and therefore fill the gap and therefore allow us to make profit. you need to have a specific target. As I already stated, we have an outstanding record gap trade and in my experience, markets do fill the gap to at least 50% of the gap almost every single time. It does not mean that they will go all the way down and complete the position, but at least 50% of the time they will fill the gap and this should always be your first target. So 50% of the gap should be filled and this should remain your first target on a regular basis. You can trail your stop loss as you want to, but this should remain your first target. The most important thing is obviously it should be a trade that works. We have a very high probability and not had a single losing gap trade for the last 14 months in my experience and also in the trade room which we use. So this shows you that it works using the right condition, using the right tools. It's a very, very profitable trade. And this is why we, you teach it to all our students and it's one very important part of our trading armory. Okay, I want to show you a few examples of the gap trades now. So we're just going to start off and just look at this. And I'll see, we'll go through this and see the first example. The first example is on Sunday, the 17th of July. And then there's a further example two weeks after that. Where the trade will be taken. Okay, this is the first example which I want to show you. Dated the 17th of July. The market had opened at 1.4113 and that was potentially your first entry into this market. Now the market had closed on Friday at 1.4145 so gap of almost 30 points which basically means our criteria is fulfilled and we can take the gap trade. Now the market did actually move down a little bit against us and potential entries of 1.4106 Zero 07 was also available before the market started moving up. These things do take a little bit of time. Gap trades sometimes can take half an hour to 45 minutes, sometimes even longer than that for the markets to start moving up. But as I've sh shown you in the, pri in the slides, we have a very high success strike rate with those. And in fact, we, not, we haven't had a gap losing trade for almost a year to year and a half. If you can see how the market has now moved, zooming in on that, we're still around the 1.4113. Our target is around the 38 level where we have some resistance boxes to be seen. The market started moving up slowly up to 16, 18, 19 and hung around here for a few seconds. 
the market then continued to consolidate for a few minutes um, and then jumped up suddenly to about 28 to 29. And this is a potential profit of almost 15 to 20 points. Our first target was around 35 to 40. So we were pretty within 10 points of this. And we just waited for the uh, market to give us a full potential and a full profit. The market moved down a little bit, uh, up to 24, 20, sorry, down to 24, 23. And then proceeded to move up again to 25, 26. So still in profit from our entry around 10, uh, about 15 points profit at this stage. The market then continued to consolidate for a few further minutes. As you can see, as the market moves on, our target is around 37 to 40, where you can see the blue arrow sitting in play. And that would have given us a nice, probably 20 to 25 point profit. And that would be a very, very good start to the week. The market continued to rally up. 27, 28. And we were just waiting, obviously, uh, probably by this stage, if you wanted to, you could put your stop loss to break even. So you're locking in some profit and then let the market move up and get to our first target, which we hope to get as, a, as, a, as the evening progressed. As the evening proceeds, obviously the market continued to move up. As I already said, these things do take a little bit of time to work. However, our record with gap trades in the last year and a half is second to none. No losing gap trades at all. And even this one worked out very nicely as the, evening, as the day went on, up to 32, 33. So our target was around 33, 34 at this stage. And up to 32, I got out about 32 myself. So with an entry of around 12, out at 32, at almost 20 point profit. Okay, I'm also going to show you how the same trade looked using a Tiger time lanes and the charts. These are the charts which all clients get. Our entry was around 41.4110, which is where we got in on the market. The gap, the market was down from 1.4145, where you can see that's where the market closed. And we got in 1.4110 to 15. The market moved up, and as you can see from the second arrow, which is now going to come into view, we got out at 1.4132, so around 20 points. This represents a good steady start to the trading week, and a nice profit to be held as well. And it shows how the gap has been filled to almost 50%, which is always our final target with these gap trades. Now, the next example I'm going to show you will be using the charts. Entry at 95 to the figure was when the market opened up, but there was a spike up. So we actually waited for better resistance levels on our time lanes and we got in around 45 to 48. The market then moved down steadily, as you can see on the chart, coming down to 30, 20, and basically moving steadily all the way down till around 70 to 80, which resulted in a night profit of almost 60 to 70 points. So again, the gap was filled, entry around 40, 45, exit around 70, 75, so almost potential 50 points profit. Again, a good start to that trading week as well. Now, this is the principle of how the gap trades work, and it gives you all the different ideas you need to see, and how you can take a trading and benefit from this. How can we at Forest Trade help you with this? Well, there's certain most, there's certain salient points which I need to, which I need to cover. Firstly, our timelines, as already mentioned, pr provide precise entry points where you can enter the market once a gap has been identified. As I've stated already, gap trading is not new. The, the concept is not new, is not new, but getting in at precise levels is always been the hardest bit. If you do not get in precise levels, you will have to run large stop losses potentially take losses. If you can get in at precise entry levels for resistance and support levels, then you'll be able to run your trade profitably, manage your stop losses, and make a very good return on your money. The Tiger timelines will show you these levels without having to do any significant work to do so. In addition to that, I am personally in the live trade room on most Sundays evenings to guide all our clients through the gap trades and, and identify the entry points. So we come along 
nine o'clock in the evening in UK time, most evenings, we identify the, the currencies which have potential gaps. We identify the levels to get in, levels to add if we need to add, and then when we need to start taking profit and trading a stop loss down. This happens on a regular basis on a Sunday evening as part of a main online trade room, which is available to clients once they sign up for the service. In addition, as you've already seen with, time, with the charts, the charts will show clearly the close price on Friday evening as well as the opening gap on, mon on the Monday morning. So we know exactly where we're getting in, what the gap is, and what the potential profit target is. We know about gap trading. We've been doing this for more than 14 to 15 months. Not had a single losing gap trade in the last 14 months. We know how to trade them because we know how our timelines work. We identify the support resistance levels and we manage the position accordingly. So when you're trading this strategy with us, you'll have no problem whatsoever making profit. We're not all just about gap trading. I mean, that is one very important trade which we do, which occurs once a week. Our trade, is open, trade room is open five days a week during the London New York as well as Asian session and includes six hours on mic every single day with different moderators making live calls on the live market using our time lens. The prices we quote are based on real broker prices and we take our entries in real time, take our profit in real time and if we have to take a loss, take a loss in real time as well. Our trade room has been making an average of 2,000 pips a month consistently and this is going on for the last one year or so. In addition to the online trade room, all members will get full access to their own timeline software, which basically means that you can devise your own strategies. They will provide you with precise entry points for scalping and swing trades, and you can use them to boost your income potential significantly. I hope this uh, little teaching session has been useful for you. It's always an intention to educate our clients because that's the only way that you can grow your business, and that's the only way that our clients can benefit most from what we're offering them. I am more than happy to arrange for a no obligation demo of our system for 14 days. All you have to do is contact me personally on carshif at 4 com for a trial of our system. I hope this has been useful and I hope to see you soon with some further training tools as well.